everybody, I'm Natalie with Missouri Star Quilt Company, and today on Quilting 101, we're gonna talk about pressing versus ironing. And really, the simplest way is to press something is just to go flat, and iron is usually when you push it back and forth. Now, the reason that we don't do a lot of ironing in quilting is because it can skew your block. It can push your fabric and create kind of a bow or a stretch in the fabric. So it's safer to just press and be gentle and make it nice and flat. It's okay to, um, it's okay to move your iron a little bit, but don't really shove it back and forth because it's going to, it could stretch your block. All right, so I have this strip set and I don't want to, I don't want to iron it, I want to press it. So what I'm gonna do is um, open it up a little bit and then just set the iron on it and then slide it along carefully and gently without pushing too much because I don't want to, I don't wanna bow my strip set either. And pushing it out can cause um, sort of a, a rainbow effect on your strips. The other thing that I wanted to point out is in this, in this situation, I'm pressing my seams to the side but if I wanted to press them open, I would flip my piece over and then you're going to open up this seam and using the point of the iron, um, press that down just like that. That is how you press a seam open versus pressing a seam to the side. Let's go right along there. It's very satisfying, but I'm going slow and I'm not using the iron to push around the fabric too much. All right, so let's look at the back of this block for just a minute. Um, typically, we say press to the dark side, and the reason for that is because your darker fabric, if it's paired with a light background, it may show through on the front. So you'll want your fabrics or your seams going on the darker fabric to hide them when you're, um, when you're looking at your quilt top from the front. Now this one has dark over here and dark over here. You could do this two ways. You could press your seams open if you wanted to, um, but I typically like my seams pressed to one side or the other, so I will choose a side and, um, and just have this pressed over to this side for this quilt. Most of them are going to be facing the right direction. The other thing is if you, if you flip your, your block over and you don't, your seams are twisted, you can clip somewhere, not cutting into the seam, but um, you can make it, make it go one way or the other, and that's up to you if you, if you wanted to do that. If you had a bulky area, um, that would work just fine. All right, let's say I wanted this seam to go this way and this seam to go that way, and I wanted to go ahead and cut this right here. Let me show you how I would do that. I would just grab a little pair of scissors and very carefully just cut this fabric just up to the seam but not in it because you don't want to cut the threads. And then with that, I, that just tiny little clip, I'll be able to press this this direction and press that one still going the other direction. So then all of my fabrics, or all of my seams are hidden by the darker fabric on the front. This also works if you have um, a bunch of fabrics in the middle, say you have a pinwheel or a lot of points coming together. You can clip those fabrics apart and press them flat so that you don't have quite as much fabric to stitch through when you're machine quilting. But that, that is how the front looks now that we've pulled all of our fabrics to the dark side. I hope this helps with pressing versus ironing and all of your pressing matters. <laughs> have a great day.